Wait, I didn't do anything. Wait, I picked the best course of action this time around. All right, all right, big fella. What's happening, man? What's happening? Yeah, hey, man, it's all good, huh? man. It's all good. What's happening in the payout off of these days, man? Okay. That's the thing. Yes, sir. We got that football. Okay, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's, let, let's, 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 this is the way it's going to be right here, all right? Gerald, right? Yes, and, and your girl is Jack. Yes, all right, listen, as long as you guys come to work, mind your own business, go in your little shop. Uh, to my understanding, you don't actually own the shop, you, you sub-lease from someone else, right? So you're not really the lease, you, the, 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 this place is not leased by you, you sub-lease, is that correct? Okay, wait, wait, yeah. no, wait, wait, no, I ain't asking. But no, my name ain't home. Okay, so that means you sell these things and, and just pay the bill together. So in other words, if me and him buy a car, look, his name on the paper, but I just give him the money for my half of the deal. Guess who you know, the deal for? Oh, well, okay, okay, so I, that's where we're going. All right, so, all right, so long as you and Jacqueline come in here and, 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 and girl, I don't know if she work here or not, you know, if she shampoo and hair here, she can stand up here and look in your eyes all day. As right. long as she's not causing any ruckus right now, also Long and I and all of us have agreed that he's not harassing, he's doing his job, you know, and as a result of some issues that came about, he thought it wouldn't be in the best interest for her to be here, but we've already had that discussion. I'm, I'm giving you the authority to let her stay here. Now, once she steps outside those doors and start causing chaos, or uh, in fights, or threatening, or harassing, or uh, MF this, MF that, something that will cause police intervention, then we're going to have to deal with it. And then at that point, she will be CT from the early, you know, because then she wouldn't be able to uh, uh, conduct business, you know, she would be up here acting the food. Alright, so if you can handle that and make sure she got her, her side, calm down, not approaching this guy, he say something, he's the manager, huh? you know, he might, he's not going to step out of line. He's been doing it. Okay, so well, do I do okay, well. Because I feel like he's been harassed I her. Well, that's, and that's, she hasn't been doing that's why we just having this discussion, so that everybody have a mutual situation. If she respects him, he going to respect her, basically. That's what we are with. So, all, I, I, you know, I'm not addressing every little thing you said about him standing in the shop saying, hey, ML, y'all, it's time to go, I'm time to, I mean, we're not going to go all the little bitty things. If you feel like he's harassing you or whatever the case may be, then, you know, let us know that. But we already have a mutual agreement that that's, you know, that's going to stop if it is happening. Okay, she's going to, we're not asking her to leave now as long as she's conducting business and doing what she needs to do. All right, but just keep in mind two things. You're self-leasing from someone else. All right, and actually really people who are actually on the lease and employed by this, um, this business is really supposed to be employees. But we're going to look past that as long as you guys can handle your business without getting police involved. Okay, this is my question. He's an authority here. Okay. He's an authority okay. who's supposed to enforce uh, protective service, so to speak, peace and quiet, right. you know, peace to peace. Okay. Now, when you overstep that, and then you become like Sir, I, 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 okay, I heard what you I heard what you what I mean, what am I supposed to do in it? Right, right now, you, right now, 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 all right, so let's, right let's not go back on what happened yesterday and how his authority is that and other. But at the same time, he is the manager of the mall. And if something is out of line, he's going to, A, call us. And then, B, if it's some administrative stuff inside, it's going to happen. So in other words, you know, if if 10 people are here that really not supposed to be here, then that's an issue. All right? You know, and one of the things, that strike my attention is at, at okay, first thing, let me tell you, if I'm the manager of the mall and I got a bunch of sub leases in here, I need to know about that. Well, wait a minute, because, wait a minute, his name is on lease, but not yours. And, but at the end of the day, we're going to make sure that nobody's being disrespected. You're not going to be all right.
That's all I want. All right, well, you got it. If I got that, okay. that's But at the same time, your girl ain't going to be able to come out here and just run the show. She's going to have to be in there doing a business, going to get a cup of ice or something like that, and, and there ain't going to be no, no way to hell. She don't want to do the mile race. Right? Well, I, I, I try to keep her under my wing and yeah. under my... But, but from what I'm understanding, whether it's true or not, they tell me she don't pull a knife on you in here, up here, before. That was a okay, but it's a, but it's a, but it's still a situation. It's a situation. It's a situation. Okay, but it's still a situation. It was a situation at that time. All right. Handle that, and then we'll handle this and be straight. All right. All right. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> what? That's what you're dealing with. Listen, I mean, I, I, I'm just telling you what's going on, man. I mean, really. What she was doing today? She wasn't doing anything today. She almost got involved in a situation that had nothing to do with it. And she said certain things to me that, dude, anytime she says something, it's a credible threat. Because she's certified, diagnosed on four or five different medications. Yeah, yeah, I know she. The girl is she, crazy. I know she's crazy because, like I said, for real. I see her walking up and down the street, and she's like always on the fast mode, and always moving, always moving. Right, right, right. And I mean, and she pulled a knife on dude in the back two days before. You know, he asked me to see Tia. I went over there and I told I told Pete and the white guy from the underground precinct that wears the the white glasses with the mirrors. Bailey. Bailey. I said, listen, he's having a domestic situation with this woman. He wants to kick her out the house, this, that, and the other. There's a great possibility that this will spill over into here. And I swear to God, if not the next day, the day after, bam, she pulls a knife on him. So, you know, if it's not a credible threat, you know, I'm just, you know. Well, just, you know, for, for right now, you already know what it is. Indifference. Yeah. Indifference. You, you already know when it starts spilling over, you'll just call and we'll deal with it. Yeah, indifference, because he's dangerous too. Okay. And I'm, I'm just, you know, not that it's germane to the point, but he's a little sexual predator himself. Okay. Okay, okay and that's why he hooked up with Psycho Chip. But, <laughs> but anyway, because he's like twice her age and she's Psycho and he about five steps away from a pimp. But anyway. Let's just let the Psychos do what they do, do, do Psycho that's hair and, and all that until it's still out into the mall and to the street and we got it. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, hey. At 6.30 we close, or half, they get a half an hour afterwards, and he's been habitually going over, and I had to look out for Enrique, the, the, the lone Hispanic guy that works here. Right, the little guy that was on yeah, the Yeah, be, because he, he's kind of soft-spoken, and so we, I just got to push him out the door, because the guy spends 10 hours a day so you here. you guys close what time? 30 minutes after, after we close, all the vendors need to be gone. So if it's 6, by 6.30 they need to be gone, if it's seven, don't close by seven thirty. During the week, do you? Yeah, six. Really? At six thirty, they need to be gone. At on really? seven, Friday and Saturday, by seven thirty, they need to be gone. I close at six o'clock. And he would, he, he and, and, and Enrique's here 10, 11 hours a day. I gotta push the man out the door. You gotta respect that man's time. Right. And Enrique's too soft spoken to do it by himself. So I gotta step up and be the wolf. All right. Well, we don't have a problem with that. You know, long as it's oh done in a paper master. Oh, you need my help. You call. Right? You're still gonna come. No, it's all. You know, I just think I think if she was fighting somebody or something like that, I could see where this could be a little bit more explosive. She's also on medication, which you know, it's obvious. She's crazy. It's obvious she's on medication. She's crazy, but I I could have stood my ground and and had her leave. I know that. I do know that. I had every legal right to ask her. If she had pink hair, I could ask her to leave. I don't want people with pink hair in here. Let her go file a lawsuit. But in deference to Sergeant Mack, and you know, to keep you out on the street doing whatever you need to do instead of you know going down to the warrant office and be bothered with all that bullshit, we'll let it ride. I don't want to. Be, I don't want to seem as if I'm totally uncooperative. You're not. You, you, the thing is, I think. I think. I think. I would just stay. She unless she unless she approaches you with a problem, but. I don't think that's going to happen. No, but it's a matter of time. She's just halfway out of her mind. It is. 
And when she talking about getting gallons of gasoline and burning this up, or she talking about she gonna hurt him, and then two days later she pull a knife out of him. Hey, she talking about getting a gun. She won't never qualify. I, that's what I told her. I said, you will never legally be able to get a gun. She's talking about she don't care. She'll get one illegally off the street. How am I not supposed to process this information when it ain't, you know, it ain't even Joe Hood, you know, selling drugs out on the street. I mean, he, he's got some rationale in his mind. She's just a looney tune. Well, you know, it seems like he wants to squash it. He wants you to squash it. I'll, 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 I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I can't. I, so instead of kicking, I kicked out uh, uh, three of the people that were involved in that incident. And she, I was kicking her out, too, because she wanted to get involved in that incident. Seven to code 12. Yeah, I'm sorry. She, she raised me. No, no, it's all right. No, Go I'm ahead. I'm cool. I'm cool. Go work. No, you know what? No, I, I just, I can see where it works both ways. I just, I just know that when, like, I can look down the street and almost name their names, <laughs> and and if I if I said, well, okay, this guy was in Fulton County Jail two weeks ago. That guy was in, uh, that guy there's been arrested 50 times by Atlanta officers right there with his hat on back. There. But you can't, you can't, you can't. You don't want to say, well, this guy's done this or this guy's done that. You want to, you want to work with him. You want to work with him. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and you know this. There's Fred. Hey, Fred. He's gone. I thought he needed to see you. He went up the other way. Oh, Terry. 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 Yeah, he got CT from the place. It took me a while to get him out of here. Right. Smith yeah, I only got I only got one left in there, but I told him this is how you this is how you stay in the mall. Don't do anything. But see, there's people it's stolen property coming here all the time. Some of it I've some of it I've, I've been able to to track. Some of it I haven't. I know it's stolen. How do I know it's stolen? Because you had to get somebody to unlock the computer, and then this Indian family was on the computer. That computer stolen. Do I have the whole thing recorded? Oh, you bet you. So I'm I'm doing a lot of things, and I'm here. You. I, I'm I don't want you to think I'm avoiding you, and I no I no. I got to call the sergeant to talk because he he sees you got to have a. It's nice to have a little bit more to go with. The judge may not let it fly too. I don't want her to go to jail. She don't have to go to jail. Just push her out the mall. <laughs> she didn't have to go. She didn't have to get arrested. She didn't want to leave. She didn't get arrested. Give her the option to leave or get arrested. She could just leave. Fred come. Fred's been CT. Fred Smith. He comes in the mall all the time. I got. I got one policy. But even after you've been CT, if you come in the mall, I tell you leave the mall. And you leave the mall, no problem. If you give me grief, I'm gonna push you out the door because I had that right. And if you swing on me, I'm gonna tase you. That's what's gonna happen. That's the policy. I don't. I don't think it's overly aggressive. I think it's just right. Right. That that keeps you on the street. Doing what I doing really what I want you to do. Stop robberies, arrest drug dealers, keep the streets clear when you're down here. But if you if you're in the warrant office spending two hours for one arrest, you can't catch me over some bullshit That's like a CT. Arrest. Yeah, it's every arrest, right? It's, you can't be out here address over some bullshit CT. You can't be out here addressing the things that I want you to address. See, because nothing exists in the vacuum, it all exists in context to one another. In order to keep them all straight and get different kinds of customers in here, they still got to get up the street. So I need the drug dealers off the street. I need as, as many I can get off the street. I need to snatch robberies to stop, at least on this block, right? And it's clear, I can, then people can come here, walk down the street, do this, do that, whatever, right? But it all starts out here before it gets into there. So. I hear you. I'm not a clown, What's man. What's wrong with this green car? I guess the guard was talking to her or what? Out front. Oh, I All these know. cars are trying to get around the green car. I better win the lottery so I can share some of that money with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right.